What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, the map still just said to explore Ashen Cavern. Up here it says I'm at 100%. So, uh, not quite sure where to go. Um, but we have the this thing. I put uh, fortification on it. Uh, Damage-wise, it's pretty comparable. As you can see, the Garnet Splitter has significantly less. We're looking at 1166 with fortification. Um, but that's more of a dex weapon. So spent. Let me let me spend most of this that I got left. I spent a disgusting amount of time farming up upgrade mats so I could get this thing up. And uh, shortly after doing that, said fuck, I'm never doing again this again. And uh, promptly used a cheat engine to just modify my upgrade mats so I had 99 of everything. Which typically, I wouldn't do that on a first playthrough of the game. Um, but considering how much I'm constantly changing to different weapons and different armor and trying out all the classes, it's getting pretty annoying that every single time I had to uh, had something new that I wanted to try out, I was gonna spend a while farm. Like, this is, so let me see here, this is part, part are we on anyway? So this is part 29, which would make you think we're somewhere in the range of, you know, 14, 15 hours. No. I have something like 30 hours in this game already. The other half of it, basically farming for materials and exploring for shit that I could not find. Never again. Oh, it's <laughs> like, how is this guy alive? <sighs> nope, he's just landing on a ledge. I thought there was a different ledge down there. So let me go back to the dog tag thing. Maybe I got the dog tags and just didn't realize it. Maybe they're like part of that encounter. Um, I mean, that's the only real door that's stopping me from proceeding. I don't remember the other door. Still. Okay, I did get the dog tags, I guess. I don't even remember getting them. It must have just been, like, mixed into the cutscene, or they were something that popped up after the boss that I didn't notice. Ah, definitely is. So, uh, let's go stop him. Before I wander into an area I've never been. Oh uh, man, this is a very uh, samey looking environment. I don't know why they're a fan of this. The just, hey, here's some crumbled hallways that you're gonna run through for about 30 seconds, and then uh, they'll pop up somewhere else. Like it's just. Uh, Easy design, I suppose. City of Falling Flame. So I could. Well, I couldn't really. I'm thinking I could. That's right, I got that. Um. I was debating if I wanted to try this, but with mind at S, I mean, it's support type gifts. I feel like this would be good in multiplayer. Focuses on decks and boasts gifts useful in battle. I mean, well, okay, all the stats are ass because I'm not using a spell that is good with it. Uh, dex. Didn't I have like an A dex one? Oh, yeah, the Nightclaw. So let's see what this thing offers. Vitality up. Man, 
apparently, because I want to test something here. So, vitality up versus health boost. 276. 27. Um, Vitality was also something else, though. I thought um, physical protection, high stat scaling. Mm. Well, I guess having both that and Vit could be useful for a with health boost and the Vit could be uh, helpful. Um, un uncollected items within a certain range will appear on your radar. Leak resist, leak removal, guard stability, life steal. Hmm. Medic vision and reflexes reduce the stamina cost of dodging. Temporarily reduce the stamina cost of guarding. Kind of a weird, weird thing. Not really feeling that. I think I'll stick with Dark Knight for now. Dark Knight's been treating me pretty well. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't switch it back. A second, I was like, no. <laughs> no, my stuff. But no, we're good. Very good. Alright, so, uh... Let's... Ah, what the fuck? Ow, god, ow, god! Yo, come on, game, there's a shiny. That's above me. Damn it. Find a good enemy to do a baseline test. So we got plenty of fire room. Step booster. I don't think there was anything else over that way. It's a shiny that we did not get. It's right there. Oh, great. We just gotta, yeah, just gotta run through the lava to get it. Wait, is there a veil that has like a lot load of fire resist? A firefighter's veil? Really, prayer shawl's two more than what I got now. The ladder that we need to get to proceed. Medium rolls with this, so let me get through the fire a bit. Like how after I just got done farming up all the fucking queen steel this area, it's just all over the place. So I know it seems like every single weapon I get I'm doing fortification on. Um, but all the strength weapons are already slow. And if a weapon, like basically fortification beefs your damage up, but it puts your weapon into a slow category. But if you're losing a weapon that's already slow by default, I mean, it's literally just a, a flat out DPS increase, you know? So it's like making it slow doesn't matter worth a fuck all, because... It's like a pyromancer thing. Yeah, making your weapon slow doesn't matter at all when it's already slow, so... Pretty much everything that I use, I've been doing Fortify to, and it's... I mean, honestly, I don't feel like any of the other things are that useful yet, like... I mean, you can you can do the, the fire, or the ice, or the shock, and... 
I mean, there might be an instance where that's useful, I guess. It's hard to say. So far, I haven't been into a situation where I'm like, oh, yeah. Gotta upgrade my, my thing with fire. That's gonna be so much better. So where can I get that shortcut? Which also is gonna involve fighting my way past all this bullshit. So the fortification is like consistently just a fat damage increase. Venom. We tried the Venom upgrade earlier. That didn't work out too well. Just too damn niche to be super useful. Look at the scaling one. Like, the scaling one, every time I've even compared that to fortifying, it's always been worse. Like, maybe, maybe late game when you're like... I don't know, level 200 or whatever ridiculous level we're going to be by the end of this. Maybe then it gets useful, but... Damn. Fail into a grab. Yeah, so far the scaling damage thing just seems like shit. Like... Oh wow, I can increase my scaling. How incredibly useless. That's progression. If I go this way, I might be able to get to my shortcut. Get him, Mia. Get him. Show him who's the boss. Oh shit, did I just stumble into the boss room? Come on, I have no heals, I don't want to do this right now. Okay, thankfully, just a memory thing. For a second there, because I saw the, the, the blue guy off in the distance. I thought we stumbled into the boss fight. I was like, no! この侵害は未来を開く種種人類の新たなる可能性の方眼の時だ<笑> 
エミリス、侵害の適合を開始し、適合率、順調に推移しています。素晴らしい。自ら志願しただけのことは、咲かせてくれる、綺麗な花。戦士ださあさあ次に進化の階段を登るのは君だった私ですか大丈夫だ我々も時間がたっぷりあるんだ<笑> So this dude was just experimenting on everybody <laughs> Wait, maybe there is a boss fight here. That scene's not done. Kono Hono, oh, my no Kokoro no Sakebika. Okay, never mind. He just needed an extra anime moment. Don't gotta go fight whatever the blue flame thing is just yet. But this looks like the way we go for progression. So, so now that I know that, the other path isn't where I should go. It's interesting. It's like, I mean, this was like very much like a, huh, I wonder what's over there. Let me, you know, let's just slip around real fast and see. All right. So shortcut acquired. Not a big fan of this area. Having to uh, having to sprint through constant flame. Not exactly good for your health bar. So we are just gonna not go that way. We're gonna go this way. Ah. Ow! Stop that! Not here for you. Considering this whole area is still uncovered, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of investigating it. Then over there? It's that area, right? Grand fought that. Went through and fought you. Looking around for a, a pistol to cover all this shit. This, you ran around. Down. Just get on the map. Let's 
下にいるわね Fire for days. I have a feeling that guy. Feeling like that might be a beat him and you unlock stuff kind of encounter. So if I fight him, I can get back up with that ladder right there. Either you fight him and shit upgrades, or it's. Noble silver plus six. Noble silver. Shape of bat wings. Answer support gifts. It's mined. Uh, let's top off. Okay. Mistle monster. All right. What's up, dickhead? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna come around and get you. Right. Huh. Odd is the paths that I did over there aren't. Marked off yet? That dead end? Went there, went into a back path. That was that ladder. I clearly climbed up that ladder. Oh, see another. Ugly. Um, they're gonna hurt me a bunch, but. Yes, this is where I was going when I made my way to Big Ugly Blue. Different ugly blue. Ah, okay, so Mistle Monster 2.0 then. Um, let's sprint through. It's gonna hurt me! Actually, that barely hurt you at all. Focus power! Oh, you weren't a missile monster. Shit. has to lead to a mistle. If it doesn't lead to a mistle, I at least need this to connect back. There's a thing I can get dropping down. I think bonks. All the way up here, I expected to find like a hmm. so the other path I was taking that's where I fought the other monster, and that would have led me over there where he's at right now. 
Jesus, this is weird. It's like a two-pronged area. Here we go. No, there's a... No, I use this to get up here. Came through, and then I took the ladder up. Why don't y'all take any damage while you're standing in the fire? I'm not even sure where to go just because of all the bullshit in this area. Jesus Christ. Uh, where's that fireproof thing? Fireproof tonic, fireproof tonic, 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 tonic. Oh, so there are two. There's activation and extension. Um, grants the gift lightning buff. Regardless of user's blood code. Oh, cool. So it's like a single-use thing. Um, venom. Yes, put this shit on. Saw a couple or a um, thinger that I could get. I think I'm a bomber. A uh, remnant thing. Thing that I touch that gives memories. I don't remember what the hell they're called. It's getting late. I've been playing a lot tonight. I don't like this. This looks like. A guy and an item. Come and get you, me, you ugly bastard. Yeah, shoot him, Mia. Pew pew. Mean titanium. Ooh. First bit of titanium I found. Ah, oh, fuck. This area just like, it loops all over the place and it like loops onto itself. And I'm looking at the map, and I'm like, there's a ton of shit that I have not done that's back the other way, and I just keep going deeper, hoping to find a mistle, and not finding a mistle. So, alright, we're gonna, I'm gonna wrap up here. I am out of, uh, of healing, so I can't go on much further anyway. I'm gonna, take, well, here, real fast, before we end. He might so I could go down that whole path. Here, hopefully, yes, this leads me up to the item. Alright, so at the very least, I managed to get over to where this thing was at and grab another freaking awake. So, given I'm in like the farthest corner, um, we're gonna vivifier on back, and I'm going to try taking. Basically, the game plan is I'm gonna drop down and take those paths. So, stay tuned. I'll uh, kind of fight my way back to the, the starting point as I'm going to call it, and then we'll continue on in the next part.